there, it's Sandy Allnock, and I have a very simple verse that I'm going to be journaling today. I thank my God every time I remember you. And what came to my mind with this particular verse is my lilacs. I have a beautiful lilac bush that's as tall as my house. And when I was a little girl, the bedroom that I slept in for my entire youth had a giant two-story lilac bush outside of it. And I have so many memories. As soon as I just see a picture of lilacs, I, I can smell them. I, I have this really visceral remembrance of that, that tree in my life as a little girl. And also now as an adult, I have my own lilac bush. And when I planted it, it was really small and now it's really big. And it's just a lovely, lovely thing. So those flowers that I posted are for you. I picked them for you. Since I can't send you flowers, I'll show them to you here on YouTube. But I decided to paint them for this verse because of that memory that they create for me. And I have been thinking about some memories of certain individuals in my life of late, people that I miss, mentors that I miss. My former pastor has really been on my heart and I have been listening through 28 years well, I haven't gotten through very much of it, but I'm listening through 28 years of his sermons on a disc, and I'm just enjoying revisiting a lot of his teachings that I missed because this includes teachings from way back before I had even attended the church. And it's just a lovely, lovely thing to remember the wonderful people that God has put into our lives. And that's why I thought this would be a beautiful page to just paint really, really loose lilacs. So as you can see, I'm just mixing different purples with different amounts of reds and blues in them. And what I found that I'll give you as a little tip with this, I dried the top portion and then painted on them with, you know, just a few little marks. And the marks don't bleed out once the paper is dry, as opposed to in the bottom section, I'll have to wait for that section to dry if I want to re-add more details that are going to stay put, that are going to stay firm and not get all soft and mushy. I wanted some hard edges, but I didn't want a ton of hard edges because a lot of this spills over on top of the text. And I want to keep that as light as possible and as least contrasty as possible. Because when you're painting over words, it's not so hard to read them if it's all just a flood of a light color and doesn't have a lot of contrast. So I dabbed off some of the excess paint and then painted a little bit more back in. I repainted on the leaves because I wanted a little more color on them because my plan was then to use a white pen to add more detail to it. Because I love my white pen. I use my white pen in my crafting and my art all the time. So I thought that would be a beautiful touch to put on these because I have some shadow colors in a few areas of these lilacs, a couple dark spots and I wanted to then add the detail using the white pen. But I did add a little, little bit of leaves spilling out over this as well. And I'm going to dab those off because I don't want them to be too strong. Again, minimizing the contrast in those. But you can see right here that, yes, I can read the words. So don't panic about that. I won't go over the section with the words on it in the white pen. That's going to create contrast and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to keep it mostly in the left hand side, but I'm going to make it fairly uneven. Just drawing these little lumpy flowers, not really trying to make perfection here. I'm just trying to indicate some very loose flowers and I'm going to stop it before it gets to the part that's underneath of the text, but I don't want to make it look entirely as though I just stopped. Like there's a, a sudden line there. So that's one of the reasons for only putting those white lines in a portion of the image. And then I added some veins onto my leaves and that was really it. I just marked the verse for myself and there's some room in the top where I'm going to do some journaling about some of the people in my life who I miss and would like to honor. So that is my very simple little page for the week. This would work with a lot of loose kind of flowers that have lots of little teeny tiny buds on them. So you can try this technique next time you feel called to paint a page with some kind of tiny flowers on it. Have a blessed week. I will see you again next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.